Hi everybody, this is Nana Dodanovic and this is my first tutorial on English. So, uh, I had one comment on this tutorial, the underwater tutorial, so let's begin. Uh, this Daniel, he said uh, that I should do a, a more feral uh, tutorial, not a speed tutorial, and he had a bit of mistakes and he couldn't get this result. Okay, I'm not gonna use uh, these photos because I don't know the resources and have them right now. So let's begin. Uh, we're gonna make this photo. So uh, to do that, we need uh, this couple, uh, this background and some brushes. Uh, we're gonna delete this and just do it with the background. Uh, I made a selection of this couple with the quick selection tool and it could be better but that's not the point of this tutorial. So we made this a cutout of this couple and we're just gonna move it to the underwater. Uh, we're gonna convert this to a smart object so right click and convert to smart object Control T to uh, use the transform tool, use Shift and Alt to shrink them proportionally. Okay, my keyboard isn't responding so well, so something like this. Okay, so they're here, but uh, they don't seem like they're underwater. So we have to uh, put the layer on Lumusty. Okay, so now they look like they're underwater, but it's... Wait, let me see. Uh, but uh, they don't look so real. It looks... Uh, you can see that it's... Uh, uh, that it's been photoshopped. So the next thing we need to do is use brightness and contrast as a clipping mask. So we go here on effects and go to brightness and contrast okay we use it as a clipping mask called holding the alt key between these two layers and clicking okay the brightness uh, on the first picture was minus 31 so something like this and the contrast was 14 Okay, this is too dark for me, so let's see brightness a bit. Yeah, maybe something like this. Uh, so the contrast. Okay, let's see the before and after. Let's zoom in a bit. So let's see. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is the before and this is after. Okay, we can darken them a bit, so brightness minus, minus 29. So let's see. Okay, this is a bit more realistic. So now we can add some uh, bubbles like, uh, like the oxygen. So we go to brushes brushes and we can select this bubble brush uh, we need to make a new layer and resize the brush to about I think that 50 is too much it's okay so put some bubbles wherever you think you should it's up to you and well this would be the underwater tutorial we can play with it a bit more but these are the basics uh, so that would be it maybe we can make a vignette about this we can make all this into one layer holding Control shift alt e and so this is one layer let's Final. If I make a bit, if I make spelling mistakes, I'm sorry, but English isn't my uh, f 
for language so okay my logo about here control T holding shift smaller and that would be it like this and put it to multiply and the opacity about 50 it doesn't matter but I like to put it there okay uh, so I said uh, we can make a vignette uh, we need to make all this into one layer again so control shift alt e and we can go to filter lens correction custom and we have here vignette amount uh, let's see okay this is brighter here so we need to go to minus this looks okay so we'll take this and let's see the before and after the vignette this is before and this is after and we can see all the steps so let's turn off all these layers okay so we started with this photo we put in the couple and put the layer on Lumisti uh, we put on brightness and contrast uh, the values for this uh, brightness 90, minus 29 and the contrast was 8 and so then we put on uh, these bubble brushes and we named the we made it all to one layer controlled alt shift e uh, and called it final but then I forgot to put my logo and the final result is this one with the vignette and that's all see ya